All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron 15Z-5523, okay? All right, so first what you wanna do is remove these little rubber things from the screw holes. Um, <clears throat> to do that, I like to use a needle, so just like this, and then you just get in the edge and then you can uh, pop those things out. Um, after that, you wanna remove all the screws. So there's one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, once you remove all those screws, you can pop this little cover off. Okay, just like that. And then you can pull out the CD drive, make sure there's no screw there. Um, that should be part of the cover. So after that, you can pull the CD drive out just like this. Okay, sorry if it goes out of view, this thing is kind of big and I can't put my camera in a good angle. So then the RAM, to remove that, there's these two metal things, you just pull them aside. And you can see the type of RAM here is, um, let's see, PC3, I don't know if you can see that, um, but 12800S, okay? So DDR3 RAM. All right, once you remove that, um, you don't need to remove the RAM, but once you remove all the screws, then you wanna flip it over, all right? open up the screen all right so this one needs a new screen so I'm gonna actually see if I can show how the whole process to remove that um, but once you do that um, oh there's one screw underneath the door so there's a screw right here right below the RAM that also holds the keyboard in place so you want to remove that screw as well okay then you open this up all right then as you can see in the top of the keyboard there's these little grooves um, so you use a pry tool and just go underneath, just like that. If you can, um, hold up the keyboard while you're prying the rest of the spots. Okay, just like this. I don't know if you can see all of this, but just like that. Okay, and then you kind of have to flex it to get these out. So you pull up on here and push down on this, and that will help you get that. Be careful, keep it at an angle like this. Underneath, there's some cables here. So I don't know if you can see, but to remove this, you flip up this latch, all right? And then you pull that aside. And then same thing with the keyboard backlight cable. You lift it up and then you can pull the keyboard backlight. So there's the keyboard cable and the backlight cable. Um, looks like this one had some liquid damage too, but they were saying just the screen's bad. So hopefully it's not also cut damage from the liquid. Um, after you do that, then there's four screws under here. So there's one here. Uh, second, third, and fourth screw here. All right, remove all those and then undo all these cables. So just flip up the black latch just like the other one. All right, and then pull the little blue tab to get them out. So flip up all these little tabs, get the blue tab, and then pull it, okay? Just like that. All right. Once you get all those blue tabs out, then you can um, lift up the screen and then you'll go, you'll see this little gap here on the edge. Use your fingernails or a pry tool and then just pull on this, um, the bottom half like that and that'll pop it out. So you just go all the way around doing this. Okay. I don't know if I can show this on camera, but pretty much you just go all the way around. Um, when you get to the CD drive, it'll be a little bit tricky. Um, instead of pulling on it, you actually pull this plastic piece down to try and get the black little um, latch out from under it. So just do that. All right. um, I think there used to be a screw here, but it looks like it broke off. So if yours has a screw here, you'll have to remove that as well. All right. So just pull this plastic down and get it out okay sorry if it's out of view I can't really see what I'm doing in the camera but yeah okay once you get all those latches out from all the front the back ones you'll have to get out by lifting up the case and then kind of just wobbling it if it doesn't come out you can try and go along the back and it'll just come out like that okay so here you can see the different cables on the back so this is for those buttons um, on the side which has like this gears and other stuff okay and then you got the um, cable for the trackpad here 
And you got the cable for, what is that? Oh, that's the trackpad light, just to see if it's on and off, I believe. And then the other LEDs right here. Okay, the power button is actually part of the logic board or the motherboard, so you can't remove that. Okay, then you can see the hard drives here. You got the CMOS battery. Make sure it's in view. And then um, the wireless card to remove the antennas like all the other models. You go from the tail and you just lift it up and it'll pop out at an angle like this. Um, the wireless card is held in place by one screw here. It'll pop up at an angle and then you can slide it out. Okay. Then you got this cable here. I don't know if you can see. And that's for the U two USB ports and the SD card slot. All right. I'm going to remove the battery. So usually when you start messing with stuff in here you want to remove the battery first and then hold the power button to drain any power so you don't risk shorting anything out okay so we'll remove the screws i don't know if you can see what i'm doing okay so there's the two screws there and then you got another two screws down here that's holding the battery and the hard drive okay And then you got another screw down in this corner. All right. Looks like that should be all the screws. Okay. Once you do that, there's this little tab here, and you just pull it up, and it'll come out just like that. All right. And then, like I said, you want to hold the power button. So the power button's this little silver thing. You just hold that down to drain any power. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Okay, hold that down, drain any power. And then if you want to remove the hard drive, I don't need to remove the hard drive, but if you want to remove it, just lift this slightly at an angle and then wiggle it backwards, okay? And that's how you would remove the hard drive. So this you can upgrade with an SSD or another hard drive if your hard drive is dead, um, but that's how you would do it, okay? When you put it back, you just slide it back in place. Um, it looks like the fan, if you want to remove it, you most likely have to take the whole motherboard out. I'm not going to do that for this video because um, it's my customer's computer and I don't need to do all this extra stuff. So I don't want to risk doing extra steps because it can cause problems if you're, if you're not careful. Um, all right, so there's a speaker here and the other speaker here. So they connect with this. To remove that, you just grab the white part here and then you can just wiggle it and pull it out. So I'm going to leave it connected. Um, but that's pretty much all that's on the inside here. It looks like this is a pretty good design for most of the stuff you can remove once you remove that top cover. Um, but yeah, so as for the screen, what you want to do is you get your fingernails or a pry tool underneath between the plastic piece. Let's see if I can do this. It's a little bit difficult to get your fingers underneath. So you might have to use a pry tool, a very thin pry tool if you can't um, get underneath. So let's try with this. Hmm. It's a little tough actually. Okay. Hmm. Where did I, I opened it earlier to check the screen, so because I cut my nails it's tough now okay so I got under a little bit of the edge so once you do that you kind of just pull it up just like that all right and just do that all the way around once you get a little bit of it then it's easier to get the rest so the corners are a little bit tricky you can't just pull on it you actually have to um, let's see here you actually have to kind of grab both parts of the plastic and then pull it down while you're kind of peeling it so just like that okay and it'll come out all right so again just go all the way around so just like this all right go all the way around i don't know if it's all in view there we go and then same thing with the bottom you just go all the way around hopefully you can actually see what's going on um i don't know if it's just dirty or if there's a slight adhesive under here but it feels like there's an adhesive holding it so it might be a little tough. Um, if your computer screen, if your screen's not broken, I don't recommend doing this because you could risk damaging the screen. Okay, but that's how you do that. Um, this plastic part will get a little bit stuck, so you want to put the screen about 90 degrees perfectly. 
and then you should be able to wiggle this piece out. Okay. Okay, here we go. So now that we got that, the screen here, normally I would think it would be held by four screws, but there's only two, so maybe somebody worked on this already. Um, but remove the corner screws for the screen. All right. Just like that. I don't know if this is in view or not. Okay, so remove those screws. If you have the screws down here holding the screen, remove those as well, of course. After you do that, you can put the screen up and then just gently, slowly let the screen go down, okay? Uh, once you do that, um, there's this cable connector here. So you'll wanna peel up this tape here, just like that. Be careful because you don't wanna yank it too fast and then um, pull this cable wrong. So once you get that the tape up, hopefully you can see that, um, then you get the corner edges of the LCD cable um, and don't try and pull the plastic thing, but get the edges of the LCD cable connector and then use your fingernails or pry tool to kind of pull it out and that's how you remove the screen cable. Okay, all right, so set that screen aside and then grab the replacement. Okay. Not all the screens are the same, but um, this model is this LP, oops, it's probably upside down. It's this LP156WHUTLAA. So that's the model that came with this one. Um, yours might be different, so you might want to check your screen first. You can actually um, check the screen without taking the battery and everything else out just by kind of tilting it forward. Um, if you take out the top two screws and do just the screen part first. Uh, but yeah, if you're gonna change the whole screen out, then you wanna disconnect the battery to be safe. If you try and do this without disconnecting the battery, you can um, possibly short something out. So make sure to disconnect the battery if you're gonna mess with the cable, okay? So then to put this back, basically just do the reverse, make sure it lines up, Okay, and then pull the cable to get it back in. Um, it also helps to pull the edges of this because sometimes the tape doesn't hold the connector very well. Okay, so just like that. And then we'll put the screen back up. On this model, you can actually um, test it without completely reassembling everything because the power button is part of this. Um, so if you want, you can do that, but to be safe, it's better to put at least the, the top cover in so you don't accidentally drop something on the board. Okay. Just tighten this all up. All right, so we got all that in place. We'll put the battery back. If you can, um, it's always good to clean off the, the components, so... I'm brushing off the battery right now because there was dust all over it. Okay. All right, so we'll put the battery back. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. Um, to put it back, you just reverse everything. Snap all the pieces back in place. Put all the screws back. Um, and yeah, uh, if this video helped you, please remember to like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.